cheap. And that was a revolution. So how did cotton become so affordable? What changed it from a material imported from overseas for the few to something made in vast quantities here in Britain for the many? Cotton, much more difficult to spin than wool, has a short staple length, the length of each fibre. However, here goes. Cotton has been spun in the same way for a thousand years using this, the drop spindle. Just put a hitch there and this is my carded cotton. So, by using the weight of the wood we draw the fibre out and then the spinner gives a twist locking the fibres together. But, if you spin too early you go too thick and if you spin too late, it goes too thin. It's too thin. So it is a skill that I have not mastered. The spinning wheel increased spinner's output. But it wasn't until 1764, when Lancastrian James Hargreaves had a brainwave, that spinners could really step up production. His invention was the spinning jenny. The spinning jenny worked on the same principle as the spinning wheel. Here we have the rovings, the unspun cotton, and that's thread on there, and this is how we get it. I pull it back, we pull off the bobbin here, okay? And then we trap it between those two pieces of wood there. So this now is stationary. This spindle at the end is connected to all the other ones which are connected to this wheel. And as we wind this wheel, it's a quite a, a knack this, but you'll see it comes off the spindle like that and as it flicks off the top, it's putting a spin into the roving. And because the rest of it's stationary, it's clamped here, and this isn't moving, it's spinning. Okay. And we've now got spun thread between here and there. So, this is the complicated bit. <laughs> what we have to do is go backwards a bit and take that off and then put the guide wire down like that and then moving forward quickly the other way we wind it on. Bingo! Mechanically simple, economically breathtakingly sophisticated because what happened was that 120 spindle machine, this is a 30 spindle machine, on four drawers, that's backwards and forwards four times, could spin half a mile of cotton. So, in the old days, six spinners would work to supply one weaver. Now, one man spinning on this could supply eight weavers. Cash. The Jenny took cotton out of the home and into the workshops, sounding the death knell for spinning as a cottage industry. Other traditional...